The greatest running back in the history of the NFL might be someone you never heard of before. His career only lasted seven seasons, but what he did during that time was so incredible he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. As a rookie, he scored six touchdowns in a single game. Anyone who ever saw him play never forgot him. As former NFL Films president Steve Sable said once, trying to tackle him is like trying to catch a candy wrapper in a windstorm. I'm Steven Jackson, and in this episode of Legends, we answer the question, what do you get when you cross Barry Sanders with Tyreek Hill? You get the remarkable Gail Sayers. Gail Eugene Sayers was born May 30th, 1943 in Wichita, Kansas, but he grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. Coming out of Omaha Central High School, Gail was an accomplished track and field athlete, long jumping an amazing 24 feet 10 inches in 1961. It was a Nebraska high school record that stood for nearly 40 years. But Gail made his name on the football field. He led Central to a state title in 1960 and twice led the state in scoring. It wasn't surprising that a number of Midwest schools chased after him. Ultimately, he settled on Kansas University. It's a decision Kansas was thrilled about. Gail would go on to make the impossible quite ordinary. He led what was then the Big 8 in rushing his sophomore and junior season. He also returned punts and kickoff returns, often with mind-blowing results. A two-time All-American, Gail had the first ever 99-yard touchdown run in NCAA history against his native Nebraska. Here's a pitch back. It goes to Sayers. He's cut on the goal line, gets away at the 5, the 10. He's still racing. They go all the way. The 30, 35, 40. He's all the way. The 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Gail Sayers. After plays like these, Gail was given the nickname, the Kansas Comet. It fit. In his three seasons at Kansas, Gail finished as a two-time All-American with 2,600 yards rushing, 3,917 all-purpose yards, and 18 touchdowns. When Gail decided to go pro in 1965, he had his choice of not one, but two leagues. He would either join the AFL where the Kansas City Chiefs selected him with the fifth overall pick, or he could go with the NFL Chicago Bears who had chosen him fourth. Gail Sayers became a Chicago Bear. And in his rookie season, he would go on to show the football world things they never seen over and over again. Against the Minnesota Vikings that first season, Gail ran for a touchdown, caught two passes for touchdowns, and ran back a kickoff for a touchdown. Something that no one else has done until Tyreek Hill did it in 2016. Then on December 12, 1965, Gail wrote his name into the record books, scoring six touchdowns against San Francisco 49ers. The six was an 85-yard punt return. Tommy Davis on fourth down punting. That's Gale Sayers on the 15-yard line. You can see him breaking away from that tackler. And watch the moves here. The quick move of Gale Sayers. He's off 85 yards for a touchdown. Looking over his shoulder. His sixth touchdown of the game, he has just broken the National Football League touchdown record for one year. Unsurprisingly, Gail was named to the Pro Bowl and made the NFL's Rookie of the Year. In 1966, Gail continued where he left off, winning his first rushing title and gaining 2,440 all-purpose yards, which was an NFL record at the time and still ranks 12th today. By the time the 1968 season rolled around, Gale was a three-time Pro Bowler on his way to becoming the greatest running back the NFL has ever seen. But on November 10, 1968, in a game against San Francisco, Gale's legs got twisted up with those of the 49ers, Kermit Alexander. Gale tore his ACL, MCL, and meniscus. Today, he will likely have recovered completely from those injuries. In 1968, the likelihood of recovering was slim to none. Yet, incredibly, in 1969, he led the NFL in rushing again and was elected to the Pro Bowl for a fourth time. For his combat, Gale was given the NFL's George Hallis Award, given to the most courageous player in professional football. But at the award ceremony, Gale chose to dedicate his award to someone else. For the previous two years, teammate and friend running back for the Bears, Brian Piccolo, had been battling cancer. 
His speech about Piccolo, who died soon after, became inspiration for the film, Brian's Song. I'd like to say a few words about a guy I know, a friend of mine. His name is Brian Piccolo. And he has the heart of a giant. And a rare form of courage, which allows him to kid himself and his opponent. Cancer. Gail re-injured his knee during the 1970 preseason, and although he played until the end of the 1971 season, he was never the same. It didn't matter. The pro football world had seen enough of Gail Sayers to know how sensational he truly had been. That begs the question, how great could Gail Sayers have been if he hadn't been injured? Consider that as a rookie, he scored 22 touchdowns in 12 games on 232 touches. Every 10 times Gil touched the football that first year, he scored a touchdown. And as he said, Give me 18 inches of daylight. That's all I need. Gil Sayers, without a doubt, one of the NFL's greatest questions of what if. Without a doubt, one of the greatest running backs to ever play the game. And you already know, a legend.